Dennis, congratulations from the Arbel Committee in winning the 2022 Arbel Prize. Firstly, what were your reactions on hearing that you won? I didn't believe it. <laughs> no, I believed it, but uh, it's nice they can still uh, remember an old guy who's been around for 60 years. And, uh, and then I looked at who had won it before, and, you know, for, it's nice to be included in such a nice list of people. So. The Arbel Prize citation says that the idea of geometric structures on spaces always plays a central role in your work. In what sense do you feel that your research has had an overarching theme? And if so, what is that theme? Well, I kind of picture mathematics as built on either just two basic concepts that even animals have some awareness of. Space is one, and number is the other, counting, one, two, three. So birds fly around, they count the eggs in their nest. They know when there's some are missing, you can count a little bit. And then children learn that. They study space and so on. And then mathematics builds on those two concepts. I always look for those elements in any math discussion. What's the spatial aspect and what's the quantitative aspect of numbers? And try to reduce everything to the simplest terms of, the, you know, what are the terms of the discussion? Sometimes this is even possible in a proof of something that might be a complicated proof. You can find these either spatial or pictorial elements, like the things on my blackboard over here, uh, as opposed to the numerical aspects, which are kind of hard to understand because they're symbolic and involving manipulations, whereas the spatial things are, can be explained to children, young children, actually. But then the idea is to reduce everything to the simplest elements, and then so it's easy to understand what's going on. Somehow that's kind of a theme. And then sometimes you get, you find that, oh, you understand things in a simple way, and then you can do more things. It's like when you have a tool, screwdriver or something, you know, learn how to use it, and then you can do other things with it. So, but the tool has to be simple to be used a lot. So simplicity is a big thing. So then many math questions, uh, which are specific questions, uh, or something taking place in space, or the abstract version of space. So, that's the theme. Great answer. You are exceptional in having proved important results in different fields, from topology to dynamical systems. What is it about maths that brings you the most satisfaction? I'd like to start by commenting on that first. Mathematics is very generous in the sense that it's interesting wherever you look. So many people learn basic mathematics and then they write a thesis on one area and then there's, they're already hooked because it's interesting where they are. You know, you don't have to travel around the world. I mean, Long Island is interesting. You can study Long Island, right? With this process I was describing before, you start saying well, there aren't really that many different fields. See, that's the perception of people who organize the bulletins of American Mass Society and they make categories and stuff. There's Long Island, there's Montauk. It was, you can ha say they're different places, but they're not. It's the, the drift of the continents or something, the glaciers. So when you look at mathematics from the way I was describing before, it's either about space or number or combinations. Many fields are actually, at some basic level, similar fields. They're just different flowerings of the structures that you look at. So I think I like, I like the process of mathematics, the process where you wonder and wonder and wonder and wonder, and then finally you see it's simple and this is a good way to look at it, and then you can understand it in terms of some simple ideas. And that's my favorite experience, you might say. Thank you, Dennis, and congratulations again.